top of the morning or good afternoon or good evening or even good night if you're watching this video at night um i wish everyone a happy you know beginning of a new year 2022 and uh it should be a good one um learn from the past make new mistakes not old ones i can go on and on about uh, uh how to you know make the most out of this 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 year because today is january the 2nd 2022 uh but let's let's focus on um progress rather than uh regressing let's move forward all right so i want to make this video real quick though um because i'm in my 2003 sl 500 and i haven't driven this one in some time uh because if you've been watching my videos the s550 i uh, had a bad starter and it was blocking this car from coming out the uh, garage so today was the first day that i pulled it out it's a cold dreary day it's, it's not really a uh a nice day to really be driving a car like this but um it's probably what temperature is it outside i think it's uh it's 30 37 degrees right now uh, it said it's high actually it's, it's going to be getting colder today uh i'm here in cincinnati ohio um so it's winter winter is here we haven't had any snow yet uh i don't think uh it's just been very very wet very rainy over the last few days so i'm sure if it continues to temperature continues to drop continue to have precipitation you know it'll eventually convert into snow all right anyways i'm making this video right now because i want to you know emphasize a point i had to pull the gloves out because i start you know wearing driver's gloves in winter time you know it's just what i do you know whatever um i want to emphasize a point i want those who have never done the conversion from a from abc active body control over to coilover suspension and i'm going to say adjustable coilover suspension because there's a big difference with strut master and adjustable coilovers which um silvers offers bc racing offers uh, for this car in particular uh there might be another brand out there but i want to i want to say this if you never let's say if you've never driven in a converted one don't give your opinion about them. If you've never installed one and made the necessary adjustments to make it as comfortable as possible, you're very limited with what you could talk about. A lot of people theorize or they harp on the fact that modern cars that utilize a coil coil over uh, style suspension always has sway bars that this car without sway bars is no good it's a safety issue it won't handle properly it's unsafe everyone knows that active body control is the best suspension that you can put on a mercedes well i'm not gonna say the most reliable but the most comfortable the most dynamic ever changing to road conditions and handling no need of sway bars of course because the, the car is designed to do what it's supposed to do without sway bars when you have active body control suspension and it, it is a wonderful wonderful ride my reasoning for converting to, to uh, adjustable coilovers is not because abc system is a bad system i'm not saying that and on my website i push the conversion to coilover suspension But what I'm saying is that the ABC suspension is not reliable over years. Yes, it was great. The first year, second year, third year, fourth, fifth, sixth. These cars are now approaching 20 years of age. And typically you start having issues out of the active body control suspension, maybe 10 years in, just average, maybe even 15 years in, but eventually you will have problems out of it. There's those who have had problems out of the suspension with, you know, got 40, 50,000 miles on it, but it's usually not the mileage, it's the age, it's the time. It's just a natural um, breakdown of O-rings and all the components that just over time, I don't know, it's just things just break down. It's just what it is. Now you can maintain the system. You can do radio, uh, regular rodeos, uh, fluid flushes, rodeos, 
uh, which you know pushes it through the system and uh, it pushes the fluid in suck the fluid out it's like a uh, almost like a i would compare it to a, a dialysis right it cleans the fluid just like how your blood is is cleaned um it, it's it's doing what your kidneys and other body functions are not able to do on their own so the rodeo allows it to uh, uh cycle fluid in and, and pull fluid out uh, it's like a, a good flush it activates all the components in the active body control system and uh, it also allows you to uh, catch issues right the, the problem is some people say hey all you have to do is just replace all the lines all you got to do is replace all the o-rings the seals whatever all you have to do is you know rebuild the valve blocks all you have to do is uh uh, I don't know, replace the stress periodic. I don't know. We all know that that's expensive. Everyone who has to go in, has gone to a Mercedes dealership or even an independent shop in order to get such work done, they know that it is expensive. But the suspension is worth it to many. So, no problem. If you want to spend that money, cool. But the average owner of an SL, a second hand, third hand, even fourth hand SL Mercedes is not willing to put more money into the car than what it's worth they regret buying these cars at that point they say it was a waste of money it's too expensive to maintain it's poor quality uh the build quality is, 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 or the uh the engineering is, is is out of date and it's unreliable and so now you have a bad name mercedes has a bad name all because of a suspension now this is the sl it does have other issues that pop up every car has issues that pop up the most simple honda civic has issues that pop up they're still on the road though People don't mind maintaining and fixing things within a reasonable price range. People just don't want to get broke off. You're proud, you're happy to buy one of these cars for ten, thirteen thousand dollars, and then uh, within just a few years, you probably bought it at a good deal because it was already uh, it already displayed some issues that the previous owner didn't want to deal with. So you might even buy it for four, five, six, seven thousand dollars, but now you got to put three, four thousand dollars back into it within the first year. You should have just took your time and bought you one that didn't have any issues. But it, it's inevitable. It's inevitable. I don't care how well you take care of these cars. You're going to put money into that suspension. So the option is adjustable coilovers. That's my opinion. You know, I think it is a very good option. And the reason why I wanted to stress that I had just gotten to this car and haven't driven it in a long time is because I've been driving my S550, which is an aromatic. The CL550 is still the ABC suspension. I've been driving both cars. And so I, I very quickly identify the difference jumping into this car today after just coming home this morning in the S550 with the aromatic system. Big difference. This car handles now like a sports car. Um, it handles very firm. Um, you do feel the road more. Um, it's not as soft and as comfortable and plush as an aromatic or, or, a, or a properly working ABC suspension. I accept that. This is a roadster. This is a, for me, it handles like a sports car. It handles like a, a, a performance car to me now more than it did with the ABC suspension. You will notice uh, again, there's a little bit more interruption to the to the uh, consistent leveling system. Uh, and again, you have to really make sure that the front is more firm than the rear. The rear is the more comfort. The front is the more handling. Uh, so make make sure that the front is very stiff, not all the way stiff. You still want the springs to do what they're supposed to do, the coils. Uh, but you do want the front stiffer and the rear softer. You have to adjust it, constantly adjust until you get it right. You will learn to understand this system once you do the conversion. You will learn to appreciate it, especially the money that it's going to save you. Now back to a previous point that I had brought up about no sway bars being used. If you haven't driven this car with adjustable coilovers, and I say Silver's Neo Max on this one, but BC Racing I think also offers them. So anything that's adjustable, the dampening is adjustable, the height is adjustable. It is a very, 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 very safe ride. I have never yet felt that I was about to tip over, lose control because I don't have sway bars. This thing is heavy and low, and I have 20 inch wheels. I have 20 inch wheels on this car. And it feels solid. It feels like I'm driving a sports car. I don't feel like my back end is about to give way. Now, I do have a wide setup and I do have my car low. That's how it's supposed to be. 20 inch wheels. I think I have, um, I might have 35 series in the front, 30 series in the back. So that's, I'm, that gives you my overall height, you know, the diameter, top, you know, the tire. 
So if you have 18 inch wheels, you're gonna have a thicker. You're gonna have a 45 in the front, 40 in the back, or maybe even a 50, I don't even know. But you'll have thicker tire. And what I'm, the point I'm trying to make is, depending on your tire setup, it feels even different. Like I'm even taking more of a risk having 20s. I'm taking away from my comfort because I have low profile tires. So imagine if I put 18s on here with a thick tire. I mean, come on, it's very comfortable. It'd be very comfortable. Anytime, even with an active body control system, whenever you put aftermarket wheels 20 inches or higher, you're gonna lose a lot of comfort. And I'm still happy and satisfied with this one. So to go from ABC and Aromatic into this car, it feels great. So don't let anybody fool you. You don't need sway bars on the SL. I've even heard, read the forums. Talk to the people who do have sway bars. People who drove the car without, added sway bars thinking it was going to eliminate something or change something the dynamic of the drive uh and it did not there's a lot of people who said it still felt the same i still felt everything that i felt before uh, uh maybe it has uh, impact on the counter lean or whatever but not much still felt the same it's still bumpy or whatever the case being because you're you, you it's still your system is going to be no better than uh than um how you have your uh, uh, coilovers adjusted. You have to make sure that they're adjusted properly. Uh, that is gonna be the main factor, the key factor to uh, having this car set up right when you go aftermarket coilover suspensions. And again, adjustable coilover suspensions. Struck master, you're very limited. You can't do anything about the height. What are you gonna do? Add knuckles into the springs and that takes away from the dampening, right? From the natural, um, load that is put on the spring it takes away from it but you do that in order to uh maybe raise the back end or, or raise the front end to equal the back every time i use strut master it's always uneven in the front and back now that's my situation strut master told me that it will settle over time it didn't now that's just my experience i've, I've dealt with strut master three times on a s55 on a cl500 that i installed and on my escalade esv Issues with the height, the difference in the height. Oh yeah, on a CLS also, that's four. So I'm just telling you from experience. Now, y'all can argue and tell me I'm not an engineer and I don't know what I'm talking about, but experience is the best teacher. I don't care what they teach you in, in, in the books. Real life experience will teach you, um, you know, what you need to know about these cars. And so the more experience you have, the better off you are. Now, I've gone back and forth with some experts who have installed these, but I, again, they personally didn't own the car. So installing it on a customer car and saying, here you go, pay me my money, there you go. Are you gonna tell me that you have experience or because you drove the car and tested it out real quick and made some adjustments? You have to own these cars and drive these cars. It takes, it took me months to get this adjustment right on the uh, coilovers. It took me months. It didn't just happen real quick. You can't just like put together a car for somebody and say, there you go. So I know now how to adjust customers cars who I installed the coilovers on too because I drive my car, I've owned my car. I've done the coilover swap several times and I know what to expect and, 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 and again, even after I do it, I still say reach out to me if you have any questions. I have one guy here local who brings his car to me all the time and I adjust it for him. Like I dial it in and get it right, you know? He, he say, hey, it's a little too soft. Hey, it's a little too firm. Hey, I'm feeling this, I'm feeling that, you know? So I'm adjusting it for him and no problem, you know? He's happy, he's a satisfied customer. So again, don't get caught up in what people are saying who don't have that experience. Simply installing them is not experience. You have to own it, know it, drive it, go through, you gotta go through it, you know what I'm saying? You cannot drive through the hood and tell me that you know what it's like to live in the ghetto. <laughs> it's a bad analogy. You can't drive through Beverly Hills and tell me what it's like to have, to have wealth. You have to live it, you have to, go through it emotionally psychologically you have to experience all aspects of ownership with these cars regarding any kind of aftermarket or modifications to the suspension until you know that you don't know that until you know that you don't know that right all right that's enough i'm about to go in this gym and go work out but i just wanted to you know drop a few little gems or whatever man build up some confidence i know there's a lot of naysayers out there who will uh think otherwise of what i said who will uh, tell you information contradictory uh, but again, I can only go off of what I know. And there's a lot that I don't know. I will admit that, of course. Uh, but I'm confident to be able to say what I did say and to back it up um, with my experience. So, have any questions, any suggestions, any opinions, feel free to comment. Um, 
my website on goelementautoworks.com, www.goelementautoworks.com. Uh, I am going to start adding to the blogs because I see that uh, there needs to be more discussion on this topic as well as others, such as what wheels, uh, offsets, things of that nature that you can put on a Mercedes on your on your vehicle and other modifications. Uh, we need. I need to start talking more about that and uh, build up that blog, and then um, uh, and then we can go from there. But. I'm gonna go ahead and start adding on to that because I think that's a discussion that we all need to have. Um, knowledge that needs to be shared. So thank you for those who do watch my videos on a regular basis, I appreciate you. Uh, continue to, to uh, support what I do and I'll continue to be there for you. Anyone who pays attention or follows me knows that I answer every question that I'm asked and uh, what I don't know, I'll let you know that I don't know. Um, but I'll continue to uh, put up information out there, my experiences, how we can, uh, continue to um you know learn from each other's experiences and so that's what's up but i'm gonna go ahead and get my workout on hey these gloves are really cool man these are like leather they uh has the suede on the inside no lining just that natural you know feel feels organic you know on your hands whatever you know i like using stuff like this man i got a couple pairs of these different colors whatever that's my style that's what i do ah uh, whatever all right, let me get up in this gym, man. Let me get my workout on, man. Stay healthy. You know what I'm saying? Make good decisions, man. Live long and prosper. Peace. Talk to you later. Go out of my auto works. I'm out.